Welcome to Agron Infotech. This video is in continuation of the previous video on strip plot analysis. If you have not watched the earlier video I would suggest first you should have a look previous video. In this tutorial you will learn how to plot interaction bar graph with categories and how to show standard error bars on top of the graph bars. In previous video I plotted interaction bar graph which actually does not look good. We can change the graph to reshape it in better look with categories for treatment factors. For this first we need to aggregate our data by varieties and fertilizer and specify that we want to return the mean, standard deviation, and number of observations for each group. Use this command in our console to get these results. After this, we shall need to do a little manipulation since the previous function returned matrices instead of vectors. Use the function of do.call. And now let's compute the standard error for each group. We can then rename the columns just for ease of use. To calculate standard error divide the standard deviation with number of observations used to calculate the deviation. Then give column names in sequence as first factor, second factor, mean, standard deviation, number of observations and standard error. Give this command to paste in sequence the first and second factor variable from data. Then use the head function to see the data frame. This will show the parameters already defined in above commands. It's also a good habit to specify the upper bounds of your plot since the error bars are going to extend past the height of your bars. Get the matrix of mean for interaction term with tapply function. Use the same tapply function to get the means and standard error. Now plot the graph by using bar plot function. Define different parameter for the bar graph height, beside, y axis limit, main title, y and x axis labels, border and legend. This will plot a nice bar plot but it lacks standard error bars. For this use segment function to plus and minus the standard error from mean values while keeping the error bars in center of the graph bars. Now we need to arrows or cap for standard error bars. Use arrow function to add cap on standard error bars both on top and bottom. I hope this tutorial would be helpful for you. If you have any question feel free to ask. Hit a like and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more upcoming videos.